Our aim is to inspire these girls at a very uh, tender age, 11 to 14, where um, they could at any time be instructed to go into subjects that may be pertaining more to um, what would be suitable when they're older. So what we're trying to do is to show them with female mentors that in fact it's possible to go into science and technology, even if there are only one or two girls in the class, that they shouldn't be put off by the fact that they may be the minority. It's an age where kids may feel that it's not cool to go to the front of the class and start playing with test tubes and Van de Graaff generators. So we're really there to inspire them and could perhaps make a big difference to a few girls' lives by just showing them that it is possible to combine science and being a woman in the workplace. And we're about inspiring through role models. Um, so we're, we're showing that uh, even from a tender age of playing with Barbies or playing with, uh, with dolls, it is possible to not be restricted in the way of thinking. Not to say that um, women shouldn't have the role that they should have in society, which is as carers and givers as well. But um, from, a, from the young age of 11 to 14, where it's an impressionable age, this is really where it starts. Um, girls are being asked to make decisions in their careers at this age. But it's something that should be carried on through their entire lives, I feel, of women in the workplace. So it may start at 11 to 14, but certainly we're trying to gather women together to share their experiences and to really motivate people through the workforce, be it young engineers coming through for the first job um, or even older uh, people who are returning to work as well. So it's really about inspiring the whole pipeline of women in the workplace. I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, I just love the idea of um, bringing some of the latest technologies right to the forefront. Um, so often if you go to these uh, conferences or um, have access to, to any of these sort of things, it tends to be the boys that go to the front and the girls that hang back and think that maybe you know, they'll be pushed around or it wouldn't be something to be seen to be in the front. So this really gives girls access to have that motivation and the courage to go straight to the front and get their hands on the latest technology and really understand um, the complexities of the world. I mean, we all have access to um, the technology, but whether we're going to actually use it in the future, girls should have access to that as well because they have the right to be in the workplace and they have the educational abilities and they have the educational access as well. So they should also have the ability to go forward uh, with working in the, in the workplace and technology. Mm -hmm.